What's up guys? My name is Natalie and welcome to my Nook of Novels. Today I'm going to be doing the try a chapter tag thingy. I have four books here and I'm going to be reading the first chapter of all of these and basically just giving you guys my thoughts on them and I'm going to be choosing which one of these that I will read based on my thoughts on the first chapter. So the first one that I have here is Schooled by Gordon Corman which I know next to nothing about. I have read quite a few Gordon Corman books before though that I have really enjoyed, so I have high hopes for this one. The next one is Pretend She's Here by Luann Rice. Again, I have read something else by this author that I really enjoyed, so that is why I am super excited for this one, but I don't know much about it other than I think there's a girl who her sister died or her best friend, so it's gonna be a kind of hard-hitting one, I guess, but I'm super excited for it. The next one is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, which I've heard really Really good things about and the premise is kind of exciting to me because I really like reading about rich people. I think it's a fun time. That's pretty much all I know about this though is that it's about rich people but again I've heard really good things about it so excited for this one. And lastly I have Prey by Michael Crichton which is about a bunch of particles who are basically trying to like, destroy humans or something like that. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do but it's bad for people that is my knowledge on this one so i guess without further ado let's just get into the first one that i'm gonna read and i guess i'm going to start with school okay so right off the bat this has a very interesting start so the first two sentences are i was 13 the first time i saw a police officer up close he was arresting me for driving without a license <laughs> i am intrigued Okay, so I just finished the first chapter of Schools, and it seems like a very interesting premise so far. So this kid has been raised on a farm with just his grandmother, and they're sort of hippies, I guess. And he's never been to a public school, and his grandmother fell out of a tree, and so he had to drive her to the hospital. And the police officer was like, whoa, why are you driving without a license? Because that was what the whole first part of that was about. And he was like, what's a license? <laughs> I had to take my grandmother to the hospital. He was like, why didn't you call 911? And he was like, I don't know what 911 is. I don't have a phone. <laughs> like, I was just, you know, doing my thing. It's looking like the grandmother is not going to be able to take care of the kid. So they're going to have to figure something else out. And it seems like he might be having to go to a public school. The writing style is interesting and there's already been a couple funny parts so I really like that. This seems pretty enjoyable, the first part that I read, so it seems exciting. Now I'm going to move on to Pretend She's Here by Luann Rice. So not gonna lie, I was kind of getting a little bit bored in the first chapter of this one, but the plot twist <laughs> that happened threw me for a loop and definitely intrigued me. So at the very start of this, the main character, Emily, is basically just grieving the loss of her best friend because it is coming up on a year anniversary since she died. And so her best friend's sister kind of shows up and is like, oh, you should come with us to visit her gravestone and she's like okay yeah I'll go with you and they are in the car and it looks like they're kidnapping her and I'm not sure if that's actually what's going on but I think it is I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens with that 
And I wasn't really sure also if at the start of this, it was going to be immediately set after the girl died or if it was going to start before she died and then follow her actual death and then after. If I'm being honest though, I think I preferred the first chapter of Schooled just because the writing kind of interested me a little bit more, even though this one is definitely younger written than this one is, but I don't know, this one just seemed like it could be funny and more interesting at a lot more moments than this one because even though the end definitely caught me off guard and made me excited to see what's gonna happen, I just don't know how I feel about the writing of it, to be honest. I'm just not really sure about this one. So this one is winning so far, but now I'm going to move on to Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Also, the way that this book feels is so strange because it's super floppy and the pages are so thin and even the cover pages are so thin and it's also buttery. It just feels very different than any other book that I've read. <laughs> There's a whole family tree. Okay, so this is random and I find it funny. So they're at the hotel and he's like, oh, I can't find the reservation. And the lady's like, well, maybe it's under a different name. And she's like, no, why would I do that? I always book it under my name. And that reminds me of a Brian Regan joke where he's talking about how the hotel people are always like, oh, maybe you forgot what your name was. And it's like almost word for word exactly like the joke goes. So I just find that funny. <laughs> birds outside that are being really loud. So that was a very enjoyable first chapter. It was actually the prologue, not chapter one, but I really enjoyed that. The racism that just happened <laughs> was a lot. So these Chinese people just basically went into this super prestigious, I guess, hotel that they fully paid for to spend the night. And the dude there was just like, oh, I wasn't expecting her to be Asian. So he was just like, mm, we can't find your reservation. Even though he literally saw it on the thing that they had a reservation, they were super mad about it. She called somebody and they're like, I got this, <laughs> don't worry about it. And they bought the hotel from the owner. So the owner literally marches into the hotel with them and is like, yeah, I actually don't own this anymore. These lovely people do, now give them their room, basically. That was a lovely way to end that chapter <laughs> with them just being like, yeah, we own this place now, get out. <laughs> You're fired because I have so much money that I literally just bought your job from you. That was exciting. Just reading about rich people being super powerful because they have so much money. It's just a fun and exciting time. So I don't know between these two which one I am more inclined to pick up. Probably this one I think maybe just because I've been super hyped for it for a while now and I'm just really excited to read it. But also this one was really good. So we shall see. But now I'm going to read the first chapter of Pray. I will let you guys know what I think of this one and then I'll tell you which book that I am choosing. Okay, so there's an introduction thingy and I'm not sure if I want to read that or not because I think it's just scientific stuff and I don't feel like reading that but also it might be important.
I just read through the introduction and it was basically just talking about evolution and nanotechnology basically. So just the effects that that could have on society I guess or just life in general. How out of control that could kind of get and also just how fast evolution happens without people even realizing it basically. I'm not sure if that was really necessary for me to read in order to read the story but I read it so it's okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna actually read chapter one. one sentence and I honestly have no idea what it means but it's very interesting. So I managed the team and it was a full-time job. Like most Silicon Valley programmers, my team seemed to live in a perpetual crisis of crashed Porsches, infidelities, bad love affairs, parental hassles, and drug reactions all superimposed on a forced march work schedule with all-night marathons fueled by cases of Diet Coke and Sun Chips. I don't know, that was just like a lot of very different ideas just all thrown together and I was like okay. I'm here for it. the chapter just because it's really long. I don't even think that I'm halfway through it at this point honestly but I got to a little part where it kind of stopped right here so I'm just gonna stop right there and I have really enjoyed what I've read of this one so far as well. So basically what's happened so far is the main character, I don't even know his name, he got fired from his job because he found out some stuff about his boss. He was having an affair and basically just doing some illegal stuff with the company's money and things like that. And he found out about it and he went to one of the people who works at the company and was like, he's doing this bad thing, but apparently that person was in on the bad thing and so he ended up getting fired. He's been kind of being a stay-at-home dad for his kids while he's not had his job. And he just has realized at the end of where I stopped reading that his wife is probably having an affair. The characterization in this was very strong and like I could very much get a feel for the characters and who they were as people people, especially the wife. So at first, the way that he talked about her seemed very affectionate because obviously that's his wife. But then just the way that she was acting, I was like, oh no, <laughs> this seems not very good. Whenever she had just come home from work, I was like, oh, I get to meet her. This is exciting. And then she was just being very awful of a person. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is not exactly what I thought that it was. She gets home and just immediately starts yelling at everybody. I really enjoyed this one as well. So really the only one out of these that, I don't want to say I didn't enjoy it, but pretend she's here was just kind of my least favorite out of these. I really enjoyed all three of these. I honestly think I might go with Prey just because I'm just excited about these characters and seeing what happens with them. This kind of gave me the Shining vibes a little bit, which I really enjoyed. So I am excited for this one, but also I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> so I'm really indecisive because I've been so, so hyped for this. I'm going to go with Prey. This one is really good. Also, my dad got this for me because he really enjoyed it. And so I would like to get to talk to him about it and be like, whoa, this crazy 
crazy thing happened or whatever, you know? But also, these ones are really good, like I said, and I might see if I can possibly read them in June. This was a fun time. I really enjoyed all of these things. That was my try a chapter thingamajig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see the other videos that I post on Mondays. My bookstagram and Goodreads will be linked in the description if you'd like to check out either of those. Comment down below if you've read any of these four books and what you thought of them. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!